Hi guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Cradle. Um, so I figured out, this isn't really, I, I kind of didn't want to hit tab too much because it felt like cheating, but it actually just saves whatever clue you just got. So I read this, come out and fly straight as a crow on a rock with a snake, look for an arrow. So I ran over to this rock. Do, do, do. There's an arrow. Now I haven't gone any farther yet, so I'm going to follow it from there and see where it goes. So let's read the rest of it again. For an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. So we're going to look for a sorrowful tree over here in this grouping of trees. Maybe it's this dead one. Oh, there's another arrow. Okay. So I guess we follow the arrow and look for a box in the sand. Now, is this the sand? Or... I don't know. Let's keep looking. Maybe there's sand over here. That looks like kind of a sandy color and I kind of see something. So we're looking for a box in the sand. This is... This is tricky. Puzzles in this game are kind of tricky. Takes a little bit of thought. Oh, I probably missed it. Alright, it's probably too far. Um... Box in the sand. Anyone see a box here? I don't see a box. I don't see anything I can interact with. Um, oh, I like that. Little flowers. It's pretty. Let's look over here. This is like a sandy color. I don't know. I wish there was another arrow. Maybe I need to go farther. I don't know. I might edit this, uh, depending on how long it takes me to figure this out. Um, let's go this way, I guess. Maybe there's more sand over here. Box in the sand. Box in the sand. Not seeing it. Let's go all the way around this thing. water, that's not sand. A box in the sand. Maybe I went too far. Let's go back to the sorrowful tree. The same one as on the poster. Oh, I didn't look at the poster. I just followed. I just. I just got the hint. Um. All right. Let's put this in our inventory. Run back to the house. Oops, oh, that's okay. That's that's the house over there. So that wasn't too bad. I don't feel too stupid. I did go a little bit too far, then had to go back, but. I 
poster. I don't know where to put this thing. Your favorite toy as a child was a processing device, the main part of a mechanical body. There are two more parts in the yard. Use them to repair the young android woman. She may provide valuable information. Connect the processor. Okay. I guess that's what I have to do. There's no room. I need to free a slot. Okay. Task at it. Okay, I guess I put the right one on. Right, let's put our head back together. Um, okay, there's other parts in the yurt? Is that what it said? So we're looking for more parts. Um, so I don't know. I think that's a strange device on the yellow table. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, strange device on the yellow table. Where's the, what's the yellow? What constitutes a yellow table? Oh, this. Oh, this. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> New task added. Okay. Um. So, is it gonna tell me? Okay. Is it gonna tell me the next thing to do? doesn't like to give me too much information. Um, let's see if I can find it before it tells me. Probably can't, but that's okay. Let's just fire what I threw around. <laughs> I cannot find it. I guess we should look for a hint now. Everything here is a clue, by the way. Like, all of these are things. I'm not going to read them all to you right now. I will if I have to, but there's an amazing amount of clues in this room. Um, mushroom powder. I'm not eating mushroom powder. have to hit the button to look for a clue. Find and connect the synchronizer. Okay, what's the synchronizer? <sighs> Is that it? I don't think so. Nope, can't use it. I figured. Let's just throw that down there. Where's the synchronizer? I don't know what the synchronizer is. I don't know what it looks like. Stone medallion. This is a very cool game. Just not really sure what to do. Book. Oh, that 
that's oh, I don't know what that is. Um That's not the synchronizer, those are towels. a synchronizer, where would I be? Um, that has no interactions. Okay, I give up, I don't know where it is. Um, is it on this shelf? Genometer. Okay, that's not it. I think that wasn't it. All right, I give up. Tell me where it is. That's that thing I threw. Oh, is it up there? No. Try this one more time in here. Oh, oh. No. It wouldn't let me pick that up, so that is not it. Okay. on it either. I'm looking everywhere, I promise you. Let's put that back in there. Oh, that didn't go in there. Oh, there's another number. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there's numbers. There's numbers and clues everywhere. Um, this game is really cool. I really do like it. Um... I'm sure I'll figure out what all those numbers and clues mean, too. Eventually. If I ever figure out what a synchronizer is, I don't think it's that. That, I'm pretty sure, is just a ball. not going to tell me, is it? Anything on this table? Nothing is able to be picked up. What's that? Oh, it's music. Oh, it's nice. of this thing again. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Um does it go in here somewhere? Oh yeah, I think it does. Um let's put that there. Right, I think we did it. Did we do it? Oh. Woo! We did it! Hi! Oh, she's a little twitchy. A little twitchy, aren't you? If it saves the game, we're going to end the episode here. Hi. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia. 
in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a mulger? I don't know, but I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything. I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Eva. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enabish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neural copy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. So this was going on for a long time. I'm Hold sorry. on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. A sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, passing. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, passium can only be extracted from emotions. 
Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. That's emotions were the only thing story, capable sorry. of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but... I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's... An amusement park. It looks the part. Them body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. All right. Alright, so this game saved here, so I'm going to stop there. Um, that was interesting, so we know a little bit more about this virus thing, about why there are mechanical M-bodies. Um, so we're going to have to go there and go to the 7th Pavilion, I think it said. I'm sure it'll tell us here. Head to the abandoned amusement park and get Ida a breathing module. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. This is episode 3, I believe. Um, that was kind of long, so I might break that up, too. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. This is Cradle. Um, it's a new game. Um, so we're going to figure out how to fix the breathing module for her. We're going to have to go there. So we'll go there next episode, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.